Hi, in this session we're going to be unboxing a Suprema BioStation 2. Uh, this is probably our best selling uh, biometric clocking terminal. It's, it's a good looking bit of kit uh, and it's proven to be very reliable over the years that we've been selling it. So without further ado, let's get the box open. Okay, move these bits out of the way. So here it is here, um, wrapped up in a foil packet. We'll get that straight out. Okay, here's our BioStation 2. Now, it has already attached to it its metal backplate. So like just about all uh, Suprema clocking terminals, it uh, uses a metal backplate for mounting to a wall or a flat surface. Um, it's held in place by a small grub screw at the bottom. Um, I'll just undo that. I should hook out of there like this. Um, so yes, so that would be what you would use to screw to the wall. I think it comes with some roll plugs and screws, which is handy to have. Um, and even has a little colour guide on there for some of the connectors, should you need them. Um, so yeah, get that screwed onto the wall. This then hooks into the back plate and then is secured uh, at the bottom with the, you know, using the little grub screw that we looked at earlier. Okay, so that's the back plate. Uh, now, at the back of the BioStation 2, uh, there is a slot here which we can use for threading our cables through. Uh, there's obviously not a lot of space in the back, but there is a little bit. Um, so you can normally, if you're only fitting a few connectors, you can normally squeeze everything in the back of there. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to bring your cables out and make your cable connections in some uh, cable housing uh, underneath or perhaps bring a cable straight in from the back of the device, which in some ways is the ideal. Uh, right, now we have uh, in the box a packet of wires and connectors. Um, so a whole bunch of them here, all different colours, all different sizes of connector. Each connector is different, um, so we can't plug the wrong thing into the wrong socket at the back. Now, we're not going to go through all of these today, we don't have time, um, but uh, what the purpose of some of them is, is for example, uh, we can use the device for doing access control, for example. So uh, one of these connectors will connect to the internal relay of the BioStation 2, uh, the common, normally open, normally closed connections. Um, BioStation 2 also has a number of input uh, facilities. Uh, so we, one of our connectors would be able to connect up to use with an exit button or a sensor of some kind. But the connections that we're interested today are the network connection, which is a standard RJ45 socket, and I have, and I have an RJ45 plug just here, and that will plug straight into the back with a nice click. And as you can see, that cable could come out of the cable slot down at the bottom quite nicely. Now, one of the good bits about BioStation 2 is that it is POE, power over ethernet, um, capable. So, uh, obviously a much easier way of powering your device to use POE if you can. Uh, it means you don't have to have the expense and hassle of uh, having a separate main socket or a fused spur installed. Um, just powered up through the network cable, absolutely perfect. However, not everybody has that luxury. So if we wanted to power it up from a separate power source, we can do that. Um, so going back to our pack of cables, the ones that we're looking for is the red and black cable, which has got a tiny little two-way connector on the end. The other end of that red and black cable is, it's got this strange looking connector on. Now, that strange connector is used for a very specific power supply, which we don't normally get in the UK. So, normally, what we the first thing that we normally do with that is to get our snips and chop them off. Make sure you chop off the right one. So, what we can do with that chopped off is we can bear the ends and we can wire that into a little terminal chocolate block and uh, wire the terminal chocolate block into a power supply source, or we can uh, solder it up or wire it up to a barrel connector. Now, 
Here's one I happen to have had done earlier. This will save for everyone's time. So we've got our little two-way connector here and we've got a 2.1mm um, uh, barrel connector socket just here. So that will allow us to plug our connector directly into the back of the bias station 2. It only can go in one way around, which is good, though there is uh, reverse polarity protection on there, I believe. Um, so that's it plugged in. It's quite firm when it's in, so that's, that's, that's quite helpful. It won't just fall out too easily. Um, and then we would then use something like a um, inline uh, transformer, such as this one, 12 volt DC. Um, or it could be a um, transformer plug top uh, type transformer. Uh, so I've got a barrel connector which has got some power on it which I'm going to plug in now. So it takes about um, 30 seconds or so to uh, for it to start to power up. You can see the blue light starting to appear there already. Um, and once it gets fully powered up it will start playing its little uh, jingle, the Suprema, little Suprema tune as it comes up. Isn't that delightful? So uh, the device, it isn't um, uh, touch screen, it uses uh, keys um, to navigate around, but it's still you know, a good looking device uh, it, uh, and the keys are perfectly functional. Uh, it has a Gorilla Glass on the front so it makes it uh, quite, quite tough. Um, the device itself uh, can actually uh, be set up so it is IP65 uh, rated um, and to do that, because obviously you've got all of these exposed connections at the back, uh, if I dig down what came out of the box, there is a back plate which uh, you would use to uh, screw over the top of those connections and also silicon seal it in as well uh, to provide some extra protection. And with those in place, then it should um, comply with IP65. Um, however, if you are going to be putting a fingerprint terminal or biometric terminal outdoors, there are possibly some better options, um, such as the BioLite M2, uh, which is actually IP67. So uh, that would be a higher IP rating. But uh, I think what it does do, it, it, it demonstrates uh, it has good uh, water resistance and dust resistance properties so you know you could put it into a, a bit of a, a tough environment and it should be able to live there quite happily. Um, so yeah like I said before you've got to be a bit careful about how you uh, bring your cables out make sure you don't want to nip any of those cables as you bring them through um, see what you can use do to squeeze your wires into the back if you if there's enough if there's enough room there otherwise you'll have to bring some cable containment out um, and house your connections in there so thank you very much for looking at our um, uh, unboxing session um, we're going to have some other sessions uh, made available soon uh, which is going to show you how, how to configure your BioStation 2 and another session which shows you how to enrol your users and employees. Thank you very much indeed.